Hi, I'm Dave from RM, and I'm here at MWC Barcelona 2023, the world's biggest mobile industry trade show. Rack 10 Symphony is here to spread the word about its revolutionary technology to thousands of industry insiders. Want to take a look inside the booth? Come with me. So the booth concept is mobile as a software, but there is also plenty of hardware on display as well. Hi there, so you're one of the resident hardware experts? Yes. Yeah, I, I'm the one. So my name is Ajis Goel. I, am, I oversee product management of Rakuten's then hardware products, which includes our own simware. So simware 2.0 is a big uh, re release I heard. Uh, can you tell me and show me what it is all about? Sure, let me take you to the product, come here. Here you see our Simware 2.0. This is our next generation DU platform, which is 3x the capacity of the previous generation in a smaller size and power needs, leading to much higher efficiency. It comes in two variants. What you see, it is an outdoor variant, and there is an indoor over there. If you can, if you can come and I can show you. There's an indoor variant there. With kind of innovative design it has, it leads to a much bigger cost and power savings to our customers. What sort of response have you got from the customers about the products on display here so far? Last two days, it's, it's, people are just amazed by this product. And when we explain them that Rakuten Symphony is taking a mobile-centric approach to plan, build and operate network, they just just feel like, okay, this is something they have not heard anywhere else. There was also an experience zone within the booth, where you could see for yourself what makes Rack 10 Symphony service stand out from the competition, with the help of various experts in different fields. Hi there. So, um, what area of expertise are you here to explain about? Hi. Um, so, I'm Anshul. I head the global technical solutions for Rakuten Symphony Intelligent Operations. Since our network is cloud-based, um, the, the whole idea is to introduce digitalization and automation on top of it. Um, one particular area that a lot of operators are interested in is our platform philosophy. So, if you see, our whole operations portfolio is based around Symbol platform. To explain it in a simpler way, it's like, you know, um, we have Android and iOS kind of platforms. And then, if you look at the times before Android, Every mobile phone had a different operating system, but when Android and iOS came, the whole dynamic changed to the Play Store, App Store kind of a model. So we are exactly applying that model in telecom, whereby we have our own platform, we have open interfaces, and considering Rakuten Symphony is expanding globally, this will become like the de facto platform in many telcos. And then we got some really cool demos, by the way, about each and every aspect, like this is for the AI-based monitoring, where it's completely configurable to decide which metrics you want to monitor, and it will give you the recommendation on how you can optimize the footprint, optimize the storage, and, and you know, make, make your data platform more efficient. Hi there. So can you tell me what, what is your area of expertise here in the experience zone? Hello, this is Rina. I'm here to talk about our customer digital experience solution. I see. And what's one example of the digital experience solutions for customers then? So we have um, developed an end-to-end -end solution for the customer support and the marketing teams. It's called SimCare. We have BSS and OSS information, pass tickets, inquiries, and all of the actions can be taken in from the one place. This will help the customer support efficiency. And one of uh, another use case we have is auto social media sentiment analytics. So we can detect the tweet when they are uh, when the customer is facing issues, and we can escalate aut automatically creating the ticket. Then we can reply on DM or the, uh, reply directly, and analytics dashboard can be seen the voice of the customers clearly. Hello, so what's your uh, area of expertise here at the experience zone then? 
Hi, I'm Anna and uh, today I'm representing Rakuten Symphony's uh, sustainability efforts at uh, Mobile World Congress. So what is one thing I should know about in terms of Rakuten sustainability efforts then? So apart from a lot of internal initiatives uh, in Rakuten Symphony, we actually care a lot how our customers uh, can build more sustainable networks. So if you think about it, Today's mobile networks keep the lights on 24-7, imagine that. So wh wh what could solve that? We are presenting a concept of energy manager that uh, could help to put your network into sleep when uh, the customer doesn't need it. In this way, with a unified granular and real-time all-in-one platform, we think that uh, the lights will not be on 24-7 anymore. One thing which distinguished Rakuten's booth was how open it was for anyone to visit, compared to some others which were more restricted. This was especially evident at times of experience zone presentations, when the space was packed with attendees. An important factor behind the booth's success was the strong teamwork of Rakuten Symphony staff, and this was boosted by a pre-event briefing where the globally diverse members got to connect in person and reaffirm the key messages to share to visitors. And during the event, there was plenty of evidence of this message being passionately conveyed by all involved, from executives to sales and communications. So I want to get a sense of how big this event is. I'm just going to take you on a tour around the hall where Rakuten's booth is. Made it all the way around. Pretty big, hey. There were other, even larger halls containing hundreds more booths, including a number of Rakuten's partners in the industry. Thanks to the hard work of staff, Rakuten Symphony certainly made a splash at MWC Barcelona 2023, and we look forward to reporting on its continued progress globally.